Hello, I'm Mario Taniguzzi with Faith Spotlight. Joining me today is John Leonetti, who is a Catholic speaker, author, and radio host. Thanks for joining us today, uh, John. Thanks, brother. All right, so you're uh, going to be one of the speakers at the God Squad Canada Conference uh, upcoming uh, March 23rd, uh, 22nd to 23rd in Calgary. Theme is Way to the Father. Um, what's your topic going to be about? Oh, I'm going to talk about death, uh, death to ourselves, which is, you know, sounds uplifting, but um, in a lot of ways, right? Uh, we, we live in a world that is um, terrified of death. And I'm not just talking about what comes, you know, 60, 70, 80, 90 years old, that death, right? Mm -hmm. I'm talking about the kind of death to self that the cross of Jesus Christ requires every single one of us to. So I'm going to I'm going to really kind of dive deep into the cross of Jesus Christ and how it is that if we want to go after him or come after him, we want to be his disciples. We got to deny ourselves, take up our cross daily and follow me. So we're going to we're going to package that all together with what true love really is and uh, send the men on their way, ready to sacrifice and live their lives no longer for themselves, but for Jesus. All right. Uh, before I ask you the next question, I, I, for, I neglected to mention the fact that today, when we're taping, is uh, Ash Wednesday, and hence the uh, the ashes on my forehead. So if anybody out there was kind of perplexed and wondering. <laughs> All right. So, John, tell me, you know, in our society, we fear death. Uh, you know, we fear the physical death, but I imagine we also fear the death that you're talking about. Well, yeah, I mean, it's it's uh, demanding. You know, the cross of Jesus Christ is not easy. And I, I tell people that all the time. If you want an easy life, don't be Catholic. Yeah, It's one of the most difficult things you're ever going to do. Um, it's one of the most difficult ways you're ever going to live is, is in and through our Catholic faith. But anything of value is worth it. The difficulty is worth it for mm. anything that, that we find valuable. You know, I remember years ago watching a an Olympic downhill skier um, and uh, a woman won the, the gold medalist. And afterwards uh, she was uh, giving her interview. She yelled out to the person interviewing her tonight. I get to have ice cream. And she just was so joyful. She was so excited. You know, here's a woman that just won the gold medal right at the top of her game in the world. And she was thinking about ice cream that night. Well, why? Well, she had deprived herself. She had sacrificed all sweets, including ice cream, for four years in her training because yeah. it wasn't going to make her go faster down that hill. Yeah, exactly. And so I, I think about that, right, in our own Catholic faith is is there, there's great value. There's 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 that pearl, uh, that gold that the Lord Jesus offers us, but it's not going to be easy. And it's a life that he points to of the cross uh, day in and day out, loving, as Mother Teresa said, even until it hurts. Yeah. Where are you based, uh, John? Des Moines, Iowa. Ah, Des Moines, Iowa. So tell me a little bit about uh, your uh, faith background. Uh, have you always been a Catholic? Yeah, I was studying to be a priest, actually, for about four years of my life. Um, it was the, the best time of my life um, early, early on, right after high school. And uh, in fact, uh, at, at the time when I was studying, Bishop Barron was my professor at Mundelein. Uh, for my short period of time there. And um, that was before he was known. So no one really knew who he was, including myself, when I walked into that classroom. And uh, seminary for me was a game changer in my life. It was the best, you know, three and a half uh, years of my life. Um, I owe so much to the the, the man that, that for me, you know, especially uh, my spiritual director, who's actually now my bishop, which is pretty cool. Uh, but uh, also just over the years, good friends that um, really I've, I've, I've kept with me, um, especially in my heart. Uh, but but the seminary was a, a great time for me to discern what God's will was for my life. Um, and that's what true discernment is. It's not asking what I want. It's asking first and foremost, what is it, Lord, that you want from me? Uh, and then doing what we can to be able to um, get our hearts close enough to his will to be able to live it. Yeah, uh, I left the seminary. I uh, went. I started actually a grilled cheese stand at Iowa State University. Every Thursday, Friday, and Saturday nights, I sold grilled cheese sandwiches to intoxicated college students. <laughs> My parents were so proud, Mario. <laughs> and uh, 
And after that, I um, uh, started going out and speaking a little bit more. I started getting some phone calls for parish missions um, and men's conferences. Uh, I authored a book. Um, it was one of the, I don't know, it was it was in the beginning, I believe, of Matthew Kelly's um, Dynamic Catholic Book uh, Program. And um, uh, then authored another book through there and then have two more books off of that. So, you know, the last uh, 16 years, it's been a wild ride. Um, been able to speak to tens of thousands of people. Um, but, you know, the message of the gospel, it's, it doesn't change. You know, no. it's unchanging. And, it, and it's for every single one of us. So I'm, I'm excited to get up there uh, to Calgary, Alberta, Alberta um, for the first time, actually. And, oh, cool. uh, and speak. Yeah. You know, when you look, <laughs> you look at today's world and, man, you talk about topsy-turvy uh, and everything that's going on. Uh, what's your message to to people and, and, and the importance of the Catholic faith in this environment that we live in today? Um, holiness matters. It's the most important thing in the world um, that the Lord Jesus will, will judge us on our faith, you know, and this is uh, everything else goes by the wayside. Every, all the politics, um, all the division, everything goes by the wayside. Jesus Christ reconciles everyone to himself and those that choose not to be with him, choose not to be with him. But um, yeah, I mean, holiness is the only way. Everyone wants to be happy. We all want to be happy. Yeah. We're looking for happiness everywhere. Um, but I, I contend that what we're really looking for is holiness. We're looking for a, 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 an intimate relationship with, with our God. And he offers that to us every day of our lives. It's just a matter, again, if we're listening and if um, if we're going to will it, as Thomas Aquinas says, ourselves. Yeah. Now, do you think, uh, you know, uh, because of all the issues that we're facing in society today, uh, have they been brought on by the fact that, you know, many, many people have turned away from God? Oh, yeah, I think that's I think that's the the, the main reason uh, that we sit in the world we sit in today. Right. Um you know, division, chaos, it's not just a worldly thing, quote unquote, you know, we, we see it in our own families, right? We see this kind of division and this kind of chaos and family life's messy to begin with. We yeah. shouldn't ever be surprised when we see that then hit the global realm, right? Because we see it right within our own families. This is where we learn it. And, and this is where it cultivates, um, which is why, you know, the Catholic church is so hyper-focused on marriages and families uh, because it's microcosm of god in the world and so we want to get holiness first and foremost right there right because all of us even priests they came from families you know priests just didn't kind of drop down as priests right so so ever the whole world comes through a family and what we want to do is make sure that holiness is love uh, holiness there uh you know is is being practiced and lived out um something I think about every day with my wife and my kids is, is holiness, holiness, holiness. That's yeah. the issue. That's the answer to, to every single problem in the world today. It's, it's to get holy or die trying. Yeah. Now, uh, you know, uh, you're coming here, you're speaking to a, a men's group, uh, a group of men, uh, that is, uh, what are the toughest things that, and challenges that men face today um especially when it comes with uh, to their faith uh selfishness greed ego the illusion of self-sufficiency this idea that i can do it all on my own this idea that i don't need any anyone else in my life to be able to help me yeah. um you know i i think just making gods you you insert whatever it is out of goods that God has given us, um, beginning to kind of reverse course on that relationship. I mean, it, the easiest one here is example of that is money, but you can put anything in there. Is money good? Yeah, of course. Money's, money's, uh, it's morally indifferent, really. I mean, it can be used for good purposes. It can be used for terrible purposes. Uh, and the Bible doesn't say that money is the root of all evil. The Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. So right there, God's trying to help us understand that he created the world and he created it good, all of it. Uh, but at the end of the day, uh, creating it as good as he did, um, he created it for us. He created us and him in his image and likeness for him. Mm -hmm. And so when we get that order right, what disorder or sin has caused in the world where I became this 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 life and I everything I, I chase after, again, insert it where you whatever you want. When that becomes a God, when I begin to serve it, 
uh, then that's where problems ensue. And so I think I think a lot of men are struggling with that today. And again, you know, just kind of the basics of selfishness. My life's just about me. Uh, greed, I want more. Uh, ego, you know, pride. I mean, all of it, kind of foundational stuff. I, I don't think anyone apart from myself mm-hmm. is struggling in that area. It's, it's really in a lot of ways uh, what it means to be human. Uh, but God offers us a different way. And thank God, I, thank God that it's not up to me right? Because I'm not strong enough. This is why, you know, St. Paul says, stay weak to his followers. See, we tell everyone to stay strong. St. Paul says, stay weak because only the weak are able to rely on God. See, the strong don't think they need God. Yeah. And so the idea here that, that Paul is helping us understand is this is all by God's grace. Yeah. The beautiful part about that is, is all we got to do is ask and yeah. do everything we can to be able to will it. Now, you're obviously uh, going to be speaking to a, a, a group of like-minded people are uh, here but uh and you know mostly uh you know you know mostly they're all catholics but and they're they're mostly churchgoers and practicing catholics but what does the church need to do to attract men uh and those men that have gone by the wayside that don't think church is for them uh, or or even the catholic faith is for them well, I think we got to re-engage in the study of the Holy Mass and what it actually is. I think that's that's the issue, right? We've conditioned many to believe that the Mass is about the homily um, or the Mass is about the music, uh, but it's not just about the homily and music. There are important parts to the Mass. There's no doubt about it. And I like a great homily. You know, there's, there's no question. I like beautiful music. Yeah. But at the end of the day, the Mass is the Mass. The holy sacrifice of the mass isn't there to entertain me. It's not there uh, just simply, uh, you know, to to um, to uh, uh, you know make me not bored, if you will. The mass is there for worship. It's the perfect worship. It's heaven on earth. And, and I tell people all the time: if you're bored at mass, you're going to be bored in heaven because that's <laughs> that is heaven touching down right here. And so I think we've got to re-engage people and and the true the truth behind what is in the holy sacrifice of the mass and what it is that that god has given us the greatest gift god could ever possibly give us is found at the mass um i think of my my old pastor monsignor mcdonald here he was um he was an incredible man i'm one of the one of the heroes of my life and god rest his soul Uh, monsignor he could not give a homily to save his life okay he i'm talking even he was looking at his watch while he was speaking because it was bad right in fact when he got ordained a priest uh they told us at his funeral when he got ordained a priest the bishop sent him off to homily school and he came back worse okay so so he just couldn't give a homily i remember sitting it was grueling for him And, and so he'd keep him short seven eight minutes but that man prayed the holiest mass i've ever seen someone pray he would tear up as yeah. he would hold Jesus in the Eucharist, his precious blood. I, I, I've I, never been so mesmerized, right, by, by this. And this is the mass that I grew up with. So I grew up with, you yeah. know, 70s and 80s music. Um, I, not a huge fan of it. I, You know, some people are. It's fine. Uh, and, and and bad homilies. And yet it was it was someone coming into my life and helping me and reading some books along the way to be able to see that the mass is so much more than that than just those things. Right? In the mass, I'm receiving Jesus Christ in a way that I cannot receive him anywhere else. Yeah. So I, I, I don't know if that's the answer to your question. I, I think that's kind of the, the big umbrella. Um, but that's where the catechesis has got to lie uh, for us to understand it. And, and then we can dive deeper into it. All right. Wonderful. Well, thanks, John, uh, for joining us today. Thanks, brother. Appreciate you, man. Looking forward to seeing everyone. Yeah, looking forward to seeing you. Uh, and John, this is John Leonetti, who is a Catholic speaker, author, and radio host, uh, who will be one of the guest speakers at the upcoming God Squad Canada Men's Conference, uh, March 22nd and 23rd. I'm Mario Tonaguzzi with Faith Spotlight. Thanks for joining us. <laughs>